There was a time with Microsoft BI that the only thing we had at our disposal really was reporting services. This has been quite some time, but when we only had reporting services, we used it for everything. We used it for dashboards, reports, exploration, and user reporting, and so on. We have more choices now, and with choices comes more complexity in making choices. So the more options we have, the harder it is to choose the best option. So as I go through my assessment of where Power View really fits versus other tools, I just want to highlight that others may have a different viewpoint. So just as it is perfectly possible to get across town in Europe in a large bus, my only suggestion is it might not always be the right or best option. The primary tools that we are going to employ in a Microsoft BI solution will be reporting services, Power View, Excel, Excel services, and performance point services. Let's look at each of these in terms of some common use cases and design objectives. The first is the traditional reporting metaphor. By this I mean reports that are designed organizationally and planned and delivered to users with the intent that the users will do really little else than to view the report, select some filters, and, and maybe print reports. If this is your use case, probably reporting services is going to be your tool of choice. It provides the most centralized control compared to any of the other solutions that are on that slide. If your goal is high degree of customization, maybe you'd like to put C-sharp programming code into a report to have some custom things going on there, or you'd like to control what the queries are to the back-end database. Reporting services, again, is probably your tool of choice. Performance point services, probably a secondary because it provides a fair amount of control over the queries that are sent to the database as well. For high fidelity printing, reporting services, Power View, and Excel will give you the best quality print on a printer. Excel services, sort of, but with Excel services, if you print from the browser, you will get a browser-based print. If your users have Excel and they can take a copy from Excel services and then print it using Excel, they'll get excellent results. So I'll give that a little bit of a, a yellow, but definitely is a good solution if you're looking for high quality printing. Push subscriptions, and by this I mean reports that are run automatically and emailed to users or put into SharePoint folders or file shares. Reporting services is the only tool on the slide that provides that functionality. And the same for data-driven alerting is a new feature in Reporting Services 2012, and this allows alerts to be sent out based on matching conditions in, uh, in the data within a report. And Reporting Services is the only tool that provides that uh, functionality. If you want to give end users direct access to the data model to explore data, Power View and Excel are the clear best choices. Power View from the standpoint of highly visual orientation, Excel more of a pivot table orientation. So depending on your needs there, you pick one or the other. Performance Point has very good capabilities in this area as well. Performance Point exploration tends to be a little more constrained around the original report as designed by someone else, so I'll give it kind of a second choice, but this is a, definitely a tool to look at. For end user orientation, Excel and Power View are certainly the most end user orientated tools. These are the tools that the IT department or the reporting specialist will have the least amount of involvement in when supporting users to explore and access data. For composite dashboards, that's really the primary use case for performance point services. If your requirements call for web browser based reporting, then any of these tools will work fairly well. Excel, of course, is an end user application that has to be installed on the desktop, but Excel Services provides the web browser based version of any of those Excel documents. For mobile devices, your probably first choice is still going to be reporting services reports because all that customization you can do helps you to target content that will work very well on most mobile devices. Excel services and performance point services do a reasonably good job too because SharePoint does have the ability to render content to mobile devices. However, these products weren't really designed with mobile devices in mind so there are some compromises when delivering to mobile. To use PowerView, Excel services or performance point services, you do need to license SharePoint Enterprise Edition. PowerView requires either the SQL Enterprise Edition or the SQL BI Edition. In terms of data export, reporting services probably has 
the most options for exporting report data into other formats like PDFs and Word, Excel, uh, ASCII files, and so on. Excel also has many export capabilities using the File Save As menu. PowerView has export to PowerPoint, which fits its slide-based metaphor extremely well. And Excel Services and Performance Point Services each have export to Excel functionality. So that's just a high-level overview of how PowerView fits various common use cases and scenarios that we encounter when developing a BI solution and comparing that to some of the other tools we have at our disposal. And of course you notice there are a lot of green checkbox. There's a lot of overlap in the chart where you could choose several things, uh, one or the other, like PowerView or Excel. And a lot of that is going to depend on what your users really need, what they're comfortable with, what you want to support. There's quite a lot of subjectivity and judgment wound up on this, but hopefully this chart will at least help to focus your efforts in analyzing requirements.